I did it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this girl doing gymnastics, y'all. Hey, what's up? It's Gabby here from Helps2. I'm with Amber, who does our video. She's in front of the camera today because we're gonna talk about something that's gotten a lot of accolades, actually. A cover that I released as a musician for one of my recent music projects called Summer Session. We're gonna show you exactly how I made this cover with Amber. So we started with Amber's drawing. I hit her up, I said, hey, we're doing, well, she also helped with the recording, so she already knew. <laughs> but I said, hey, we're gonna put this out on iTunes and Spotify. It was a five song EP that we recorded this past summer of 2018. And I said, hey, we need a cover for it and I really want you to draw it because I've seen some of her illustrations and drawings and I really, really enjoy them. So go ahead and tell everybody about what you drew. Here's the first one. Yeah, so um, I actually made two versions and we wound up going with this um, first version that I made. I actually looked up some reference pictures first. So I found this one that we used. Um, I really like it. It's really simple, really minimalist um, type of palm tree. Which is what we wanted. Exactly. So that's great. I said keep it simple. Right. And so um, I went ahead and used that picture and made this um, palm tree. Whenever I'm making um, a picture off of a reference picture, I always try to do something to make it my own. So this one is uh, varied from the original. And then um, for the font, um, I have these really great pens. They're um, Faber-Castell and they are really good for calligraphy. Mm. So I, um, I just looked at a good um, good font like image of like a font that I enjoyed and just tried to kind of emulate that but at the same time like I said I made it my own um, and I think I did it first in pencil to make sure I liked it and then I went over it with pen and that's how we came up with this this image yeah that's great I like how you say that you use a reference image because I feel like there's a lot of artists out there that just don't feel as if they can even get started because they're like, I don't know what to do or what to draw or right. I feel like I'm not good enough, but that's a great place to start. And I also like how you put my name, Marte, that's my musical name, my middle name, that I go by right here on this tree. Yeah. Branch. So I was trying to figure out where did I want to put her name, um, her, her music handle. And so I um, was looking at the image and I didn't feel like there was really a place to like make it and overt like you know in the center because the text already for the title of the album already kind of did that mm -hmm. and so yeah. I, I wanted to kind of put it somewhere where you had to look for it a little bit and so I like how the font almost kind of looks like the, the waves that are already in the palms and so it, it almost kind of blends in, but you can still find it. So I really wanted this, as a musical artist, I really wanted this modern, like, California feel with, like, um, kind of, like, pastel neonish colors. And so I chose this background. You can see it on the screen. Um, because I was going to take this image that Amber drew and import it into Photoshop, which you're looking at right now on the screen. And I wanted to take the image and actually put it onto a background that popped. I took this um, image and I placed Amber's um, drawing on that background. So I'm gonna actually show you the finished product. This is the actual cover. And I'm gonna show you how I kind of merge the two together. So, which is super cool because people are like, oh, did you, Gabby, do that or was it Amber? And I'm like, both. <laughs> So here's the image, we're back to Amber's image. Now what I did, what's great about this is that it is on a white background. So I'm gonna go ahead and use my magic wand tool. You can see it right here. And I'm gonna select this. And you see how it selects it for you? Isn't that great? A lot of you, um, if you're like me, when I started Photoshop, I tried to like actually take the eraser tool and erase the whole background and somebody came and said, hey, let me help you, Gabby. It's really not that hard. So. <laughs> Uh, yeah, thank Save you God time. for this. And then I go ahead and say, well, actually, first of all, you have to unlock your background. So I'm gonna go ahead and click that little lock right there and unlock it. Now it's a layer and you can see it is because it says layer zero and background is gone. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna layer via cut or cut, layer via cut. And it's going to take the background away from the actual black text. And now I'm gonna see that by, you can see the new layer, layer number one, right? And I'm gonna go right here and make it invisible. Boom. Now you know that there's nothing behind it because of the checkers. 
So what about this gray area around, like, inside the tree and inside the letters that have, like, space? Right. So what I'm going to do with that, I'm going to do the same tactic I just did for the background, but individually for each of these elements. And so I'm going to go right here and continually just keep cutting and making layers invisible. So here we go. do this you can do that or you also have this eraser tool right and you can do the background eraser tool or the magic eraser tool so right now I'm gonna do the magic eraser tool go back to my layer and I'm just literally gonna zoom in on this so I don't actually erase the black part of it and I'm just gonna click and it's just erasing you see that Wow. that's really easy oops oh, wrong when one. you do that just a uh, command Z and it comes back So that gets rid of all of the background, um, except for this top part, right? You see this top part, you can just like, um, I honestly would just cut and just crop it. Crop it, yeah. So how you do that is you get this tool right here and it's called your rectangle marquee tool, I believe. And then you go right here, go up to image, crop, boom. All right, so that's how we got rid of all the background, right? Now, in the actual image, we see that the text is white, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so what I'm gonna do to actually do that um, is go back to this guy right here, and I'm gonna put a new layer. So there's um, a prompt that I use on the actual keyboard for that. It's Command-Shift-N, I believe. That brings up a new layer. And I'm gonna make sure this layer is behind. So I'm gonna go ahead and start turning this white. The white process is happening. So let's see, there's a little bit of gray from the background here and we're just gonna get rid of that with our magic eraser tool. So now I'm on a different layer, the layer behind it, and I'm gonna make it black. See that? Whoa. So now I can see if I've missed any spots. Luckily we didn't because we kind of got them all out in the beginning. But sometimes you'll be like, oh, there's like a whole like white spot right there. <laughs> and you're like, oh, I missed that. And so the, having like a contrasted background really helps with that. Let's undo the black. Okay, now let's copy again. And let's go ahead and paste it. Boom, it's there. Now we could have went with this, but my artist heart was not satisfied with that. So what I did is I erased the palm tree in this moment and I moved summer sessions to the center and then I kind of placed the palm tree at this like bottom right angle. I'm gonna show you how I did that. So first of all, I'm gonna make two layers because I know I'm gonna come back and use that palm tree. So I'm actually gonna duplicate this layer. So it's gonna be the same thing twice. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Okay, now I'm gonna just make one <clears throat> invisible. So back to my eraser tool. I love this guy. He is like <laughs> amazing. Okay, so down here, and sometimes it'll be at the top, is how, like my actual size of the tool that I'm using. So I kind of want a bigger size for this because I want to erase this palm tree. Does that make sense? Yeah. <laughs> so that was simple, right? Simple enough. Boom. Nice. Isn't that cool? Yeah. I love it. Now, back to this palm tree. I gotta click the layer that I'm actually going to be editing. And, and now you have to remove summer sessions. Right, exactly right. So back to my eraser tool. Boom. 
boom. And then I go to this beautiful tool, which is kind of just like uh, your cursor. It's your move tool. So I'm going to go ahead and this kind of took me a while because I was like messing. Yeah, like where do I place this tree, you know? And do I make it smaller? Like it could have been cool there. Yeah. Or you know what I mean? Like what do I do? I really like the center of the summer sessions. And right. so I placed it like right in here. Now one thing I want to bring up before we're done with this tutorial and showing you guys what this is like to make an art cover or some kind of like piece of art like this. I want to just let you know that sometimes you're going to have images, for example, like this one, right? We had this image and then this image and you're going to try to place this image on the this image and it's going to be way too big or way too small. What you need to do is look at the image you want to place onto and go to the size, right? And you need to look at the pixels. So right now this is in pixels, but there's other options like inches, millimeters, percentage. I work in pixels, most graphic artists do too. It's really easy to communicate. Um, right here you can see that it's about 2000 pixels. And so the picture that we're gonna place actually needs to be around that same size, if not smaller. So kind of need to think in terms of like, do I want this to be as big? as what I'm placing it on or do I want it to be smaller, bigger, whatever. With that knowledge, you can play with the pixels. And the more you play with pixels before like you copy and then paste something on something else, you'll really start to get um, kind of like a reference point in your mind. You know what I mean? So one thing, if I were to put this on social media, a good amount of pixels for quality to be up to par is about 700, 800 pixels. But when I'm uploading this to a site to distribute music, they want at least 1400 pixels, 1400 by 1400 because it's a square. They want album covers to be squares. Those are really important things that you'll start to get in the flow of when you start doing stuff like this. So that's the end of our session here with this summer sessions cover, no pun. Do you have anything to say? <laughs> nope. Okay, well that's it. Hey you guys, make sure you subscribe. We have a lot of content coming at you. We love to do tutorials. We love to do days in the life so you guys can see how non-perfect this life of marketing and art is for artists and people who are marketing for others. And we just love to be a part of your life. So make sure you subscribe and then as well as that, make sure you join our mailing list by clicking the link in the description. All right, that's it. Tell the people bye. 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 See you next time.